I bought the cheapest trowel on Amazon. So I want to know, is it even possible to do a nice job with something like this? I know a lot of DIY enthusiasts start out with a cheap trowel like this, not realizing how important it is to use quality tools. I want to find out if it's even possible to leave a nice job with a trowel like this. I'm going to do everything I can to give this trowel the best possible chance at doing a nice job, but I want to know if you think I'm capable of doing it or not. <laughs> what, what even is this thing? It's a blue spot, 280 millimeter plastron trowel. It's got a lifetime guarantee. I mean, I don't know if that refers to my lifetime or the lifetime of this. I mean, like, once it's broke, it's broke. I don't know. Hardened and tempered steel blade. Anti-slip plastic handle. Five rivet fixings. It's got rivets. Okay. Okay, that's good. At least the actual handle is riveted to the blade. It's not just glued on. All I can think of whilst I'm carefully opening this piece of Chinesium fine engineering is the advice that any plaster would give you. Always buy the best tools you can afford. Check your trowel for defects. It's a thing of beauty. Do you know what's quite exciting about this? I'm just looking at this thing. It's the cheapest bit of crap. Like, my hand doesn't even fit in there properly. Like, it, 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 the handle's too close to there to get my hand in. But look at this. It's actually bent the right way. It's got a slight curve. That way, you want it, you always want it curved that way, you know. Uh, if, it, if it's curved the other way, like that way, and these corners are pushing out like that, you know, bent that way, there's a dig in, but bent that way, that, that's how you want it to be. Now it says it's got rivets, oh it has, I can actually see them. I want to use this straight away, okay. A trowel takes about six months realistically to really wear in nice, to do a good job of it. But we haven't got six months. Is that even on square? Wear a trowel and nice and sharp over time. I'm going to check this for square in a second. You know what I'm going to do to wear this trowel in, don't you? <laughs> Case of emergency, run like hell. If you buy a Marshall towel, say you've just gone and got yourself one of these, right, for 70 quid, do not do this. wasn't too bad, I'm quite impressed with that. What I was worried about was whether if I stayed too long in one place, I didn't want to start taking, like, I didn't want to start taking bits in and out the, the blade of the trowel. So I've stopped a little bit shy of getting it like a knife. It's, it's, it's getting sharp. And what I think I'll do now is I'm going to polish it off with a flappy disc. So this is just, um, what's it, 80 grit flappy disc we'll um we'll see if we can get a little bit a little bit more broken a little bit more smooth with this <laughs> we're probably, probably just killing the thing but it's quite fun isn't it i'll tell you what that fit that that feels lovely <laughs> Lovely and sharp, that now. And what we're going to do is just finish this off on the concrete. Okay. That's a little bit sharp. Let's try this again. <laughs> There's not much difference. <laughs> The last thing, really, I don't want this to rust, um, you know, and seeing as I would come this far with it, seems only fair. Now, usually, um, my carbon steel trowels, I let it get, like, a natural patina on it. Um, I just leave them, you know. I don't worry about the rust on them. I just wipe them down every day, give them a little rub, and, and they just get a natural patina on them. But seeing as I, we are rushing this one through, we've literally broke it in within about 15 minutes. Um, I'm going to force a patina on this.
Right, that's it. So we'll leave that in there till some of the morning. Hopefully that'll come out and be nice and um, patinaed, nice and dark, so we don't get any rust on it. And then we'll see if the cheapest travel on Amazon is any good. The next day. Okay, it's the morning after the night before. Let's have a look how she's doing. Let's get to the job and see what this thing can do. We can't get to that job today. It's been cancelled. The plumber's held them up or something, so we've got to go somewhere else. I'll tell you what we can do. And there's a little patching job we can go and do. That, in fact, that'll be ideal. We're going to this little patching job. So we've come to this little patching job. And there she is, the thing of beauty. Look at the patina of that. I'm well impressed. Now... This little patching job, believe it or not, it's only a small area. But anyone that knows anything about plastering will know that blending in plaster is more difficult than anything else. So plastering a nice square wall or the whole wall is nice and easy. The blending in is the tough part, especially with the cheapest trowel. And I don't even know if it's going to be capable. I don't even this could just be the end of my career. Let's just see what happens. Oh. This is not a good start. Oh. Oh my god. Did you see that? Good job it landed in the water bucket. Oh, that feels horrendous. It's like scraping. My hand doesn't even fit inside yet. So a little bit of background info. These guys had a new window fitted and they tried to plaster it themselves. It's not the worst job I've ever seen in my life, but it definitely isn't the best. It's a bit all over the place, so we need to sort it out for them. This feels horrible. How anyone is going to go and buy one of these trials and do a nice job. Oh, oh my. God. So what we're actually going over is shocking plastic. Because it is not flat at all. It's full of lumps and bumps. I can't get nothing flat. I'm starting to think maybe this isn't the right job to be um, practicing with this trial, to be honest. Look at the bumps in the wall. I mean, we had to reschedule and switch jobs around, and I'm meant to be here to make this job better, not worse, so... I don't know if I've made the right decision. Maybe we should have left this video for another day. Before anyone jumps to assumptions as well, look, this has already been sealed. We sealed this with SBR. Well, Kieran sealed this with SBR before I got here, so this has already been primed. We haven't just plastered straight onto bare plaster because uh, that wouldn't work. The bumps are just horrendous. <laughs> I feel like throwing it in the skip. It's been horrible. That's the first coat on. Uh, with 20 plus years of experience this is not easy to use so any any beginner that tries to go and buy one of these and just use it I mean I've tried to wear the thing in absolutely horrendous Trying to flatten this in before the second coat. It's just everything's just dragging and tearing. <laughs> what doesn't help is as I'm trying to do this, this handle is literally just moving in and out. <laughs> that you can't apply pressure because the handle just squishes in. <laughs> oh, look at look. 
I don't know. I don't think this is gonna work. I don't think this is even possible. It's just tearing it off. Wet it up for the second coat. I don't think it's possible to break a trowel in, in 15 minutes. It just feels like rough. So for any any novices, any beginners out there, like you'll never probably get to experience a broken in trowel. It is a world of difference. It just glides over the plastic. Whereas this feels like it's just dragging it around. Going across the blend as well. It's not nice though, it's, it's tearing it. Oh, it's, it's getting there. It was about now that thoughts were running through my mind whether I should just get rid of this trowel and bring me normal trowel back out to do a nice job of this. But I had to just remember the words that my dad used to say to me just slow down, pay attention to what you're doing, take your time and do a nice job. You're actually impressed that I can use this, aren't you? Hey, I can get a nice job of a chicken's foot, I tell you. Look at it. That's after the first trial, so we're getting there. Let's just see. It's going to be interesting now because as we go further forward, I've got to start applying more and more pressure, and this thing does not seem to like pressure. So, I mean, I don't know if the blade, the blade's quite flexible. I don't know. We'll just see. Let's see how it goes. giving it the third trowel and it's polishing I'm not even joking <laughs> look can you can you can you look down the wall is it looking smooth can you see like a shine in it yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> oh it's really stuck it's... look how nice that blade is can you see that one can you see how smooth and Beautiful. We're going to have to just give this a polish in a minute. Clean down and we're done. Look, I'm having to hold it like that though. That's the only thing. I can't get my hand in there, so I'm having to hold it like that just for doing these bottom bits. Oh no, yeah. Oh no, it's started to tear. Look at this. Come in, come in, come in, look at this. There's a little bit of tearing going on. Oh no, this is where it all starts going to the Let's see. Okay, so we had a little setback, but we, we soon got over that. Now, what was really interesting was this trowel was just getting nicer and nicer to use. It was starting to feel really nice using it. It was as if polishing was just doing the final touches to breaking it in. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you buy the cheapest trowel on Amazon, break it in within 15 minutes, and get a perfect job of it the next day. Now, in case you're wondering why I haven't gone all the way down to the skirting board, because I wanted to really test how good this trial would be by seeing if I could blend in with it as well. <laughs> 